Welcome. Today we are going to see about introduction to IoT and then we are going to make a IoT project using Blink app and Node MCU. Myself is F. Anthony Jeffrey Voss from National Engineering College working as an assistant professor. What is mean by Internet of Things? The interconnection of computing devices embedded in everyday objects, communicating through internet, enabling them to send and receive data is known as Internet of Things or IoT. Our home lighting, our home appliances, our vehicle, smartphone, wearable technologies, our music app, our computer, our shopping and our flight experiences and analytics everything are connected to the internet these all the devices are smart devices these all have a embedded electronic computer chips in and send data to the internet and they can communicate with each other this is known as internet of things this is a module known as node mcu ESP8266 this module has several features this module has 128 KB of RAM random access memory and 4 MB of flash memory here we can use this memory to upload programs it has a inbuilt Wi-Fi and inbuilt Bluetooth it supports communication ports such as UART, SPI, I2C and this module is used in IoT projects. This module is powered using a micro USB jack over here and this is the antenna for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth and this is the module. This module can operate in deep sleep operating features low power consumption module you can see the chip over here this is CP2102 this is the USB driver chip if you connect the module with the laptop you have to install this driver in your laptop then only you can communicate with this module otherwise you will get a driver error and the port will not be shown we move to the coding part here we have define blink print serial and then we need to include two libraries one is ESP8266 Wi-Fi dot H and another library is blink simple ESP8266 dot H then we are defining an array character array of authentication code this authentication code is given in the mail by blink app we will see this later and this is the car array for SSID and this is your Wi-Fi name you should give your Wi-Fi name here this car array for password you should give your Wi-Fi password over here the program continues here void setup in void setup you have two statements one is serial dot begin this is statement is used to initiate serial communication its baud rate is 9600 and blink dot begin here the authentication ID SSID and password will be authenticated by the module and inside the void loop we have one statement which is blink dot run this statement is a function which will continuously check the blink server which will communicate with the Android app and update the data in the blink module let us first download and install the blink app and then we will install the necessary libraries and drivers and then we will program let's do it take your android phone and open google play store 
and type in search blink and press install wait till it get install Once the installation is complete, open the Blink app, select create new account, type in your email id, and then Create a password for the Blink app and then press sign up. Accept the welcome message and then create new project. Type in a project name. And then select ESP8266 from the hardware. Leave the connection type to be Wi-Fi. And then select black mode. And then select create project. You can see the authentication token is sent to your registered email ID. And then press OK. Now add the widgets. Take the button and place it at the center or any other convenient location press the button once press the pin and select the pin in which the LED is connected or a relay is connected and make it as a switch and then come back press the play button at the top you can see the device is not running now. To make the device run in current time, you need to configure the hardware and upload the program in it. Still now, the Android part is over. Now, let us move to the programming part in Arduino. Open Arduino IDE from Start menu. This is the program that we need to upload in it. Before uploading the program, we need to do some more steps. We need to install the Node MCU board. To install the board, follow the steps as I do. Copy the link given in the code. Go to File and select preferences option and paste the copied link and then press ok go to tools and select board manager Now go to the bottom end and you can see ESP8266 and then select install. It will take more time. Please wait till it get installed. It depends on your internet connection speed. On the meantime, we will add the library is required for the program to compile and install the driver required for the Node MCU hardware. Unzip. 
using 7 zip and select extract to and similarly unzip the other zip files also follow as I do it Open Blink Library Master folder and inside it we are having the library. Copy the Blink Library Master folder and then open My Computer and go to C Prime and go to Programs File x86 and select Arduino folder. And then open libraries folder and paste the copied one over here. Press continue. Similarly, open ESP8266 Wi Fi master library folder. Copy the folder. and go to my computer and go to C drive and open program files x86 and open Arduino folder and then go to libraries folder and paste the copied folder over here and then press continue Next, we are going to install the driver required for the Node MCU hardware. You have to choose either 32 bit or 64 bit. To find it, right click My Computer and then select Properties. You can see my system is 64 bit, so I am going to install the 64 bit driver. If it is 32 bit, install the 32 bit driver. Double click to install the 64 bit driver and follow the steps. The driver installation is completed. Select Finish. Return back to Arduino IDE. Now the board installation is going to be complete within few seconds. Scroll down to the bottom. You can see ESP8266 is installed. Now we can start coding. In this field you have to Put the authentication token given by the Blink. Open the registered mail ID. Check for Blink mail. You can see authentication token for my Blink app with the registered mail ID is here. Copy it. And place the authentication token over here. Then we need to give the SSID name which is your Wi-Fi name. The name is my Wi-Fi. So type in my Wi-Fi over there in the SSID field. And the last step is you have to give your Wi-Fi password. Type your password over here. Program is completed now. Now we can choose the board. Select. Scroll down to the bottom and find ESP8266 12E module. Now the board is selected and now press compile button. 
compilation will take more time than expected. Patiently wait till the program gets compiled. Now the program finished compiling and says done compiling. Now let us start building the hardware. We need node MCU, LED, connecting wires and a micro USB cable. Insert the LED into the breadboard. Insert the two leads of the LED into two different vertical holes of the breadboard. Using the male header pin, connect the anode of the LED and insert the other end of the male header pin to the digital pin 3 of node MCU and take the next male header pin and connect the cathode of the LED. and then insert the other end of the male header pin to the ground of node MCU board. Now let us connect the node MCU board using the mini USB cable. Connect one end with the node MCU and connect the other end of the mini USB cable with the laptop. Then move to Arduino IDE, open tools and navigate to ports and check whether the laptop is connected with node MCU then press upload button now the code starts uploading into the node MCU board yes uploading completed tap the play button at the top now you can see our IoT device is being connected with the blink server. Now let's check the output. Now you can see the turn on and turn off of LED through the mobile app. Check out my YouTube channel JMJ Systems for more hobby projects. Thank you for watching the video.